In this section, we will implement stacks using arrays in Python. We will use PyCharm as the integrated development environment. And once we create the project, we will create a new Python file. And give it the name as stack array. This opens an empty Python file where we can write the stacks program. To implement stacks ADT, we will create a class known as array stack. And then define the init method for this stack, which is nothing but the constructor. And the members of the stack class will be underscore data which is a list since we do not have arrays in python we will be using list to implement stacks using arrays then we will define the length method for the stack this length method will return the length of the list We will have another function that is is empty. This function will return whether the stack is empty or not. Then we will define the push operation. The method of push operation will take element as an argument. Then we will append this element using the append method of the list. We will now define the pop operation using the pop method. Pop method will not take any arguments. The very first thing we will do is check whether the stack is empty or not. If the stack is empty, we will raise an exception saying that stack is empty. If stack is not empty, then we will return the pop element from the data list. Then we will define the top method. In the top method also, we will check whether the stack is empty. If not empty, we will return data of minus one index. Do remember that in Python, list can have positive as well as negative indices. Minus 1 indicates the last element of the list. Therefore, we return data of minus 1, which is the last element of the list. Since we are catching exceptions, we will create an exceptions class from where we will import empty. Let us now create an exceptions class. In the exception class, we will define class empty and then we will pass exception as the argument and use the pass as the keyword to complete the implementation of empty class. Let's save this program and execute. It will not output anything because we have just created a class which can handle empty method for exceptions. We will run our stacks program to check for any errors. Now here we have defined the entire implementation of stack ADT using arrays. To perform the operations of the stack which we have implemented above, we will create an object S of the type stack array we will use s object to perform operations on the stack the first operation we do is s dot push 10 that is element 10 will be
pushed onto the stack. And subsequently, we will also use s.push20 so that element 20 will be pushed onto the stack. Then we will have a print statement to print the contents of the stack using s dot underscore data. Data is a Python's list which we have defined as the member of the stack class. The next operation we'll perform is to print the length of the stack using len operation. We will also check if the list is empty. That is, we will use print s dot is empty. Is empty is a method implemented as part of the stacks class. Then we will use pop operation to pop out the element and print the element which has been removed from the stack. Then again we will try to print the contents of the stack. We will execute this program. The first statement of the execution displays the content of the stack that is 10 and 20. Then we are displaying the length as 2 because in the stack we have two elements. The call to the function is empty will return false because stack is not empty. Then we have applied the pop operation. Element 20 is popped out because that is the last in element which is first out. Then we have displayed the content of the stack. Now the stack contains only one element that is 10. We will perform pop operation again and then we will print the contents of the stack. We will first check if the stack is empty or not, then print the contents of the stack. Let's execute this program and you will find that 10 was the element which was there in the stack and then we performed the pop operation. So 10 element has been popped out. Now the stack is empty. It displays true. We will push two more elements that is 30 and 40 onto the stack. Then we will use stop operation to find the contents of the top of the stack. You can observe that 40 has been returned as the top of the stack and the content of the stack is 30 and 40. Please remember that top operation will only return the top element but will not remove the top element from the stack.